Wednesday night and early Thursday, Typhoon Baysok left a trail of destruction from Jeju Island to Seoul. One person died in Busan and hundreds of thousands of homes lost power. Che Jung Yoon reports. The ninth typhoon of the season, Typhoon Maesak, has left much of the Korean peninsula in a state of chaos. The typhoon caused one fatality and injured another in the southern port city of Busan, one of the hardest hit areas along with Jeju Island. The Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasure Headquarters on Thursday said a woman in her 60s died after being hit by fragments of glass from a shattered window. A total of 26 people who were forced to evacuate their homes in Gangwon-do province on Jeju Island and in other regions of the country are yet to return home. Meanwhile, from eight cities and provinces, some 2,400 were evacuated temporarily as a precaution. The typhoon also caused power outages in over 270,000 households. I prepared ice packs to keep things frozen, but I'm afraid this will end up going bad. We don't know when the power will come back on. The typhoon uprooted a 230-year-old lace bark pine in Gyeonggi-do, Icheon City, classified as Natural Monument 253. Some 860 cases of flooded roads and houses have been reported, as well as damage to streetlights, cars and telephone poles. Damage to farmland amounted to some 5,000 hectares. We can't calculate the total damage. We haven't restored anything. We have to throw away everything as all the crops will rot once the sun comes out. In a time where recovery is vital, another typhoon is heading towards Korea. With its predicted strength and route, experts say Typhoon Haisen could bring greater damage than May South has. Forecasts show that it will land on the southern coast of South Korea next Monday and make its way up through the peninsula heading north. If Haisen makes landfall in South Korea as anticipated, it would break the record for the most typhoons to make landfall in a single season. Choi Jung-yoon, Arirang News.